thousands of Penn State fans are showing solidarity this morning. In a rally to, on campus supporting the university's football team despite the NCAA sanctions. Newswatch 16's Charlotte McBride joins us live from Center County with the details. Charlotte? Hey guys, that's right. We're here right outside Haluba Hall on the Penn State University's main campus where thousands of fans, alumni, students have gathered this morning. Some came as early as 4.30 to show their support for the Penn State football team. After the NCAA's recent sanctions handed out, some players had the option of leaving the university. As of right now, only one player has taken that option. The other ones are coming today to the first morning practice beginning in about 30 minutes. And when they arrive, they will be greeted by thousands of Penn State faithful. Joining me now, former Penn State offensive lineman, Easy Smith, come on up here. Easy, what brought you out here today? Uh, just love for greatest university in, in the United States, greatest fan base, and uh, the best group of brothers we could ever have. There's uh, guys coming back from California, Florida, Canada, all over North America, like Tim said, to meet with Coach O'Brien tonight. Coach O'Brien wants to talk to us about the future of Penn State football, and. He's done a great job so far. Uh, we we couldn't expect or think a guy has given more to this university in such a short time than Coach O'Brien has. So we're really happy he's the guy here. And like I said, we couldn't ask for more from a, from a coaching staff, strength staff, or anything. Now, as a former player, what does it mean to you to see this kind of support, especially at a tough time like this for the football team? Um, it sounds corny, but I'm not one bit surprised. Um, it's You will never find a better fan base in the world, no matter what happens. Tomorrow, all these people would be right back out here. If they had another wake and rally tomorrow morning, and Coach O'Brien needed us back here on Saturday, as far as former Letterman, we'd all be back here. You know, we it's uh, it's a really special place. You don't realize it until you get a few years out, but it's an extremely special place, and I don't think any of us would trade it, trade the time we've had here for anything in the world. Lazy Smith, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. And go rise and rally. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're going to send it back to you guys. I'm Charlotte McBride reporting live from University Park. Yeah, that's right. a, an amazing scene at this time of year, at this time of day. That's a Some people showing up at 4.30 in the morning. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Also making news this morning. At